This is Oren Zucker, and on behalf of Dan Everts, welcome to the very first Monkey Sauce tutorial. Monkey Sauce is a simple yet deceptively powerful tool for After Effects that's designed to automate the time-consuming and sometimes messy process of triggering sound effects. Let's get into it and create a simple build. I'm going to use these cool little explosion animations by AE Suites to demo this script. First, I'll import some sound effects into the project window. Then, launch Monkey Sauce, select an audio file, then the master comp, and using the default setting, click Do It. A Monkey Sauce audio layer was created with a marker at the CTI, which triggers the sound effect, and now every time I add a marker, it triggers the sound effect again. Let's clean that and do the same thing, but this time select a bunch of audio files and change the mode to sequence, and rebuild. Now every time I add a marker, it triggers the next sound effect in the order they appear in the project window. Clean that one more time, change trigger to layer middle, select all the layers and click do it again. Now instead of having to manually trigger the sound effects, they're being triggered automatically by the selected layers. You can see how quick and easy it is to sync audio files to layers with one click. There's three different modes and eight different trigger methods for a total of 24 different ways you can trigger your audio. So what happens when you click Do It? Basically, if one audio file is selected, Monkey Sauce puts it into a pre-comp with a two-frame delay, and then places that in the master comp with a marker at the CTI and expressions applied to time remapping. Every time a marker gets added to that layer, it triggers that sound effect. If multiple audio files are used and sequence is selected, then everything is placed within a single monkey sauce comp, and each marker will trigger one of those sound effects, either randomly or in order, depending on your settings. How they get distributed and timed out in the master comp is a function of the mode and trigger dropdowns, which can be used in any combination. The default mode is the simplest of the lot, single. This is the best mode to use to trigger repetitive sound effects. Keep in mind, if the markers are too close together, the sound effects don't have time to complete, and the audio will be clipped. There's two ways of dealing with that. The first is the squeeze checkbox. This will speed up the audio so it completes before the next sound is triggered, but this will obviously alter the nature of the sound effect. If that's an issue, use the expanded mode, which avoids both the speeding up or clipping of the audio. I'll go over that in a second. The next mode is sequence. This will combine multiple audio files into one precomp and sequence them. Every marker on that layer will trigger the next sound effect in the sequence unless mix order is active in which case it'll randomize the order of the sound effects. <laughs> Lastly, there's Expanded. This was designed to maintain the integrity of the individual sound effects even with tightly spaced markers. Think of this as sequence, but exploded into individual layers so there's no clipping or need to speed them up. <laughs> the trigger dropdown controls the actual timing of the sound effects. No matter which trigger method you choose, you can add, subtract, or move markers at any point in the process. There's eight options, each of which can be combined with any of the modes. The first one, manual, is the simplest. As I mentioned previously, a single marker will be placed at the CTI. This is designed for you to have the most flexibility and doesn't assign a timing to the markers, you just place them yourself. Repeat and random will place multiple markers on the monkey sauce layers based on a time interval. When you use one of these, the max and or min box will activate, prompting you to input the time in frames between markers you'd like to use. The next three options, layer start, middle and end, will place markers on monkey sauce layers dictated by the length of the layers selected. <laughs> Lastly, there's Marker Sync, which will place markers that align with a pre-existing marker layer in the master comp. A few notes about Marker Sync to keep in mind. 1. 
Random Sync places markers aligning to roughly 40% of the markers on the sync layer. 2. Marker Sync works well with many of our marker-based monkey scripts. So now you can automatically trigger sound effects to type or edit monkey. 3. You can select multiple marker layers at once, you don't have to use just one. 4. If you're using another monkey sauce layer to sync to, the original one will turn gray and the audio will turn off. This is to avoid confusion as to what's old and what's new. Lastly, at the bottom of the UI, we've included some utilities. The X button cleans your comp of all monkey sauce layers, even locked or shy ones, and allows you to start fresh. The K button will place a marker at all selected keyframes on one or more layers to use as a marker sync. This is great if you want to trigger audio based on specific motions in an animation. We also added plus and minus buttons, so you can easily add or subtract markers if you need to. So that's it, a quick and hopefully painless tutorial of Monkey Sauce. It's super easy to learn. We suggest you just download a free trial and play around with it and explore what it can do. Drop us a note if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions. From Dan Eberts, this is Oren Zucker. Thanks for watching.